How's it going everyone and hope you're doing well. Welcome to this unboxing and boot review video of the Mercurial Vapor 16s in the latest Kylian Mbappe colorway um, of his chapter boots from the signing of Real Madrid. A very bright and vibrant colors and for sure will stand out when you're playing in a match or team training or just training with some friends or having a kickabout. These are very nice and flashy boots to have. Now you're looking to pay for around roughly 260 to 265 euros or pounds for these Nike Mercurial Vapor boots. Um, so a very, very nice pair of shoes to go for, or pair of boots to go for if you have the budget and money, especially if you're looking to upgrade for a new pair of speed boots, then we highly recommend going for these. These are in the FG editions, so it can be worn on the likes of real grass pitches. And we have tested these out on the artificial grass long enough now for about two months with the previous colorway and for sure you can wear these on AG pitches. There's no point buying two pairs of FG and AG and spending 550, 600 euros or pounds for two pairs if you're gonna be playing on multi-surfaces. If you're gonna be playing on FG and AG, go for these. If you're just going to be playing on AG this season, then go for the AG sole plates. But as always, do use them at least one to two weeks out of the box as we recommend just to get used to the boots themselves for the new sole plate as well. It's much more aggressive than previous editions um, for you to break into the boots and for the material to soften up in the upper before you take them into team training or matches, just to help reduce any chance of injuries or hurting yourself. Um, and also with the small details in terms of performance. Now the sizing wise, the Mercure Vapors are a bit more accommodating for wide feet. Um, so if you have wide feet, we recommend going true to size, your usual night footwear sizing and then adjusting it, you may have to go half size up and then find out in terms of those two sizings from true to size and half size up, which one you find comfortable. You may find that both sizings will not fit you well and then it's better to go for the Nike Phantom lines such as the Phantom Luna 2 or the GX2, which is much more accommodating for wide and very wide feet types. In the midfoot and toe box area, there's just much more space for wide and wide feet when it comes down to the Nike Phantom lines. Now for very wide feet, we would not recommend this at all, but like always, you can go a half to one size up and try them in the Nike store or order them online and then just return them back or return one of them back and get your money back if one or both of the boots don't fit you. So it's always good to experiment and try, especially if you're trying the Vapor 16s for the first time. Um, as we say, you can always just order them online or go to the Nike store locally or football boot stores that also sell these boots. For narrow to normal feet types, these are gonna fit you really nicely. You just gotta find the right sizing for yourself. We recommend for narrow feet types to go anywhere from a half to one size down. Do try on a different sizing. If you prefer to have a bit more space in the toe box and midfoot area once you've done up the laces, then go a half size down for normal feet types. If you want a snug and tight fit where your heel touches the heel cushion at the back, um, nice stability and lockdown in the midfoot and for your toes to not have too much space in the toe box area feeling nice and snug then go one full size down when it comes down to the Vapor 16s. For normal feet types we recommend going just a half size down and it should be fine that will give you a nice and snug and comfortable fit. Um, if you want a bit more space then just go true to size but you may find that there's just too much space in the toe box and midfoot area even after doing up the laces so it's best to go half size down for normal feet types. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below in this video in terms of what you think, pros and cons, as it really helps out people that are watching this video now or in later on in future reference, make a decision to see if these boots are for them or if they should go for a different pair. So don't forget to leave in terms of what feet type you have, uh, how you found about them after a few weeks of use, pros and cons, as your feedback has shown in previous videos to really help out people, especially new viewers, uh, make a decision to see if these are for them or not. Likewise, thanks again for watching this unboxing and review of the Night Mercure Vapor 16 Elites, um, the Kylian Mbappe editions. If you liked it, make sure to leave it a like and to subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time for another unboxing and review in the near future. All the very best and take care.